In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this wooden cell phone stand. Hey everyone, welcome back to David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do a lot of woodworking builds, tool tutorials, and tool reviews. So don't forget to subscribe for a lot more really great content. Uh, this video today, we're making this nice little cell phone stand. It's going to be uh, 6 inches tall. I use 3.5 inch poplar. You can use any width material you want. Also, all the uh, instructions and dimensions will be in the description below. So don't forget to check down there for the details if you need them. Now let's get into the build. So for this phone holder, it, the, uh, the main portion is going to be 6 inches long. So the first thing, like always, you want to do is your layout. So I'm just going to mark my 6 inches and draw my line across. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut that main piece off because that is just a solid piece of wood. There's no more to do to that once you cut it off. The back portion that props this against the ground, it's going to be an inch and a half. So I'm just going to, once again, mark that at an inch and a half and draw my line across. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that off right away. Now the front piece, the piece that actually holds the phone, it's going to be an inch and a half as well. So again, I'll mark that and do my layout right away on that, draw my line across. Now the reason for the hole on the front of this is going to be for your phone uh, cord to go through. Now you can either drill that with a big drill bit, you can just cut a square notch. What I'm going to do actually though, is I'm going to use a, a Forstner bit to cut that out, just because I happen to have one and it works well for it. You could also just leave it flat and not cut a notch and your phone can still rest on there like that. So if you're going to drill it out or make a notch, you're going to want to find center and mark that. And once again, if you're actually going to drill a hole or cut it a notch, you don't want it to quite cut your piece in half. You want some material left over so that when you put it on, the notch is just in the front part. Now I suppose you could do this with a hole saw as well, but the interesting thing is here is the Forstner bit actually is going to stick out past the end of the wood, kind of in, in mid-air. And that makes it, you know, a little bit interesting to do, but if you're careful, it's not too bad. And now that you've got your hole drilled, you're going to want to go ahead and just cut that off. So again, I'm just going to use my miter box here because it works, it's convenient, and cut that off. So now if everything is going according to plan, you should have three pieces that look something like this. So now when we nail and glue these to the main portion, you're going to want to have it an inch and a half up from the bottom to the center. So I'm going to go ahead and actually draw a line across at an inch and a half on both sides. That way, it's going to be really easy to line up both pieces when I go to nail and glue them on. And I've kind of actually decided to change where I want to mount this on it. I've gone down a little bit. You can just kind of move it like this and play around with the angle to get it to, you know, stand exactly how you're going to want it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get both my nails started so that when I nail this through, it's going to be easier to hang on to and the nails will just go straight through into it nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue on this, not too much. I mean, it's not a structural piece. It just has to hold together. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, nail it up. Now when I nail the other portion on, what I'm actually going to do is glue it up, hold it there, and just put one nail right in the center. And that's going to be enough to hold it. And once you've got it all nailed together and glued up, we can just give it a final little sand. And then you can go ahead and paint this. You can stain it. You can do whatever you want with it. It looks really nice. It works really well. So like I said, guys, all the instructions and dimensions will be in the description below. And definitely don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos from my channel, David's DIY Reviews. A lot of really great content similar to this. And if you're looking for some other builds just like this, very kind of quick woodworking builds, check out the video on the YouTube card above. It's four other quick little builds. You're going to love them. They're a lot of fun. They're functional. Check it out. See you guys in the next video.